Welcome to Mobile Meals, Steve DeVal from Thor Motor Coach, and we are going to mix things up a little today. I have a new partner in the kitchen, and that is... Mm -hmm. Tracy DuVal, yes, his wife. Real life husband and wife mm -hmm. cooking in your motorhome, which is what we do. We've taken out a number of motorhomes we and do. gone on trips. We do, and we kind of compiled a few of our favorite recipes. And we hope that you enjoy them. And so one of the things we're going to start with today is a low-carb wedding soup. Oh, this is so good, okay, because I am consistently dieting. I have put this man through his paces with all kinds of different recipes, but this one, there are no noodles in this wedding soup. I mean, yum, and it is delicious. You will not miss that. Right, so a low-carb wedding soup needs meatballs, and you could buy the store-bought meatballs, but we don't do that because no. of a lot of the stuff. Why well, we want to know what's in them, right? right. You want to know what's in so them. So we have lean ground beef, we have spices, cheese, eggs, garlic, and you're going to get the entire recipe at the end of the episode here. So I guess right now, ready to make some meatballs? That's right, yeah, All these right. are delicious. So let's do it. We make them, make them by hand, and we washed our hands. This is kind of, we just start putting, uh, go ahead and put some stuff in there. Okay. All right, we got uh, parsley and garlic and a little bit of Parmesan cheese. And, and oregano, and eggs. eggs. And then and mix that you want to mix it? Yeah, we'll just mix them up. And then we're going to do a little salt and pepper too. Once yeah, we a little get salt and pepper to taste. And then you have to get in here and mash them together with your hands. Now we make these all the time at home, and man, they they smell up the house something delicious. And it's that garlic. Another thing that we like to do is we make extra because our youngest daughter is really really picky. So yeah. if we make, she doesn't like anything. No. But she likes mac the and cheese and chicken nuggets and spaghetti. Yes. With meatballs, so you can take and we make meatball subs out of these. That's so you can right. Do a number of different things. So I guess we got to get our go ahead and salt those up. I'm not sure. There you go, just like that. A little salt, and we put a little pepper on there to taste. And then we get a squish and make the meatballs. We use our hands. Yeah. And so then we're going to take and toss them into our convection microwave. And away we go. We're just going to mix meatballs. I'll oh, put the parchment in paper here, in there. Okay. This kind of helps with cleanup. And you can make the meatballs as, as small as you want. It doesn't matter. And again, I don't think we're going to uh, here, we'll weigh it down with that. Those are kind of big. That's all right. I think there's an ACDC song about this. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll just make some meatballs. I keep thinking of that movie, Cloudy with a Chance it's of Meatballs. meatballs. Now our meatballs are done and we need to get them in the convection microwave. All right, it is preheated, toss them on the rack. It's going to be about 25 minutes. And while those cook, we're going to make the broth. Yes, yes. Okay, so we need to saute some onion and, and garlic. Yep. Throw a little olive oil in your pan. Throw in the onions first, and we'll let those get nice and brown. And then when those get brown, we're going to take and we're going to toss in a lot of garlic. You can flavor this to however you like. We just happen to like a lot of garlic yes. in our house. All right. All right, we'll get these going get first, going, and then we'll and then toss then in the garlic. And while we wait for the garlic and the onions to heat up and the meatballs to cook, let's head out to O'Rourke's across the street from the University of Notre Dame to show you how to whip up a classic cocktail. Hi there, my name is Kelsey. Today we're going to be starting with a Bloody Mary. So what we're going to do is take a pint glass, and we're going to start with an ounce and a quarter of your favorite vodka. Put it into the glass there for you. And then we're gonna add a little bit of ice into the glass. And then you can use your favorite Bloody Mary mix. We like to use Zing Zing just cause it's got a little bit of a kick to it. You're gonna pour it into your glass there for you. And then you're gonna get a martini shaker. You're gonna pour all your content into the martini shaker. Slam the lid there to make sure that it's sealed. You're gonna shake it a couple of times. Hit the side of it to pop it out for you. Get you a fresh glass. Pour all your contents into the glass there for you. And then we like to finish ours with a stick of celery and then an olive there for you and put your favorite straw in there and that's a Bloody Mary for you. Thank you very much, Kelsey. That's right, now we're gonna add some garlic. A lot of garlic, just a lot. We'll give you the, you, you can toy with the amount of garlic but we're gonna kind of mix it in with the onions and the oil and get it all nice and brown and tasty. All right, mix that up. All right. I think that's enough. 
And the great thing about this is you can freeze this soup too when it's when it's done. It freezes really well. Alright, I think we are ready to toss in chicken broth. So about six cups of chicken broth you're gonna put in here. And we cook like this all the time at home. We put on aprons in the kitchen. It's, it's not like we run around and have a million things to do. Okay, so truth be told, he's the better cook at our house. And I've gotten worse since we got married because he does it so well that I kind of just let him do it. But right? I still can't make gravy. <laughs> I can't make gravy. Or I'll way. start with him and I'll be like, you know what? I think you have this handled. I'm and then she go just wanders off. So if she just wanders <laughs> off during this, it'll be just like at home. And plus, with the kids involved in so many things, one of us will cook and the other one will run around. But when you do something like this, if you're going to meal prep, it makes quite a bit. All right, we need just two more cups of that. We love to do a lot of meal prep on Sundays because it makes the week so much easier when you're running the kids to practice and you're dividing and conquering. Yeah. I'm sure you all know it. And this is one of those recipes that makes a lot and you can double I, I wouldn't double it at all i mean the no, meatballs we always go way lot. heavy on the meatballs that's the best part there we go all right and then you just wait for this to boil and then that boil as you can take we use spinach but you can use any sort of greens mm -hmm. that you want we like to go a little heavy on the spinach too we actually go way heavy on the spinach because it, it's the spinach is like your noodles you know and I, I don't know it's it's really good right. well then so. you whip up the egg mm -hmm. and you throw the egg in at the end and then if you want to put anything else in there I know a lot of you pure saying well it's not traditional wedding soup that's all right it it's a low like carb it. it's, it's delicious it's, yeah, it's delicious it's one that's healthy it's good for you and it, it's not horribly time consuming no you saw us making the meatballs. That's kind of the most time consuming Right, and you part. don't even have to do that. We just like to do that. Yeah. We used a lean ground beef. Uh, it was a 94%, mm -hmm. and this is 94.6. You can use turkey as mm -hmm. well, which we've done that, but we find the beef tastes a little bit better it does. in it. Um, but you can use the bag meatballs if you press for time. Yeah, absolutely. All right, our broth is boiling. Mm-hmm. So it's time for the spinach and then our eggs. Two bags. And you kind of just let it get wilty. And a little bit of oh. Parmesan cheese. There we go. There you go. And this, as it's boiling, you just kind of mix these in until it starts to get really wilty. We always find that we end up adding a little more broth. Broth's boiling, we're going to pour in a little egg. Do you want right. to, I'll pour in the egg and you can I'll stir. stir. Ready? All right. Here we go. Stir away. It's almost like an egg drop, egg drop. type of soup. Yeah. yeah those in and then we always like to throw in a little extra cheese a little parm because you just can't get enough cheese and how about that that's that good that's great and then as soon as the meatballs are done you drop the meatballs in and voila you have yourself a low carb italian wedding soup the meatballs are done yes all right we're so here's what we're going to do you handle the broth grab the broth get ready to put those to burn babies myself. in oh. Can you smell Watch that? It smells Ugh. amazing. And then right. all we do is we put the meatballs into the broth. So let's go all ahead. Right. Let me grab another spoon. And we can double scoop. Mm. Two fisted scooping. And they're nice and hot. And the parchment paper is going to make cleaning this dish a snap. And don't worry, we still have Tom here. He's gonna clean up. <laughs> Poor Tom. All right, I'm gonna start Stir it up. mixing this in here. Oh, no, look, baby, baby meatball. <laughs> All right. And let me get this oh. out of the way. It is still hot. Mm. And move that there. All right, is this where we yeah, scoop it up scoop and some into taste a bowl? it? Here we go, and it's gonna be hot. And I know we've gotten comments, people, how come we don't ever see you eating this stuff? We do eat it, it's just we don't want to put 500 degree soup on our mouth. That kind of takes the taste out of your mouth. And I got a couple meatballs, got some broth. Look at that. They're wondering if we're really, really cooking in here. We are really cooking. We really eat it. Yeah. A little broth. Mm. Ah. 
wedding soup. Now the entire recipe is going to be following the end of this. So mm -hmm. let's do dig a little in. taste. Yeah. Oh gosh, it's hot. I know the bowl is hot on the bottom. And we could stand here for ten minutes and let it cool down. But that's the most boring thing you'll see on YouTube all day. Mmm. Mm. Good stuff. Isn't that Mr. Food that said, mmm, it's so good. Yeah, but I think he'll sue us if we say that. <laughs> so we'll say, ooh, it's better than mediocre. <laughs> no, it's actually really good. So, first, do you want to do more of these with I, me? I, I, I'll more? do more. All right, well, let's come up with some more recipes that we make at home. All right. And we'll come back in the kitchen. You're up and, for it, right? Do it again. Okay, and you can put up good. with me. I, here and home. I've been putting up with you for a lot of years. 16. <laughs> I know, it's awesome. So, all right, well, great. Recipe at the end of this, and we will see you next time on Mobile Meals.